Right, now many of you will know that I've got a set of irons that I got early part of this year and uh, I'm pretty pleased with them, but in recent months there's been two releases that have started to question have I got the right clubs in the bag? And they are, the TaylorMade P790 was one of them and the Mizuno HMB MP20s was the other. Today, I'm gonna test P790s 2019 against my very own PXG 0211s. I'll be as honest as ever. Hands of the average golfer, hit some balls, five iron, seven iron, nine iron, let's see who comes out on top. Right, okay, let's just get straight into this one. And I think we'll start with, as with most reviews do, we'll talk about looks. Now let's talk about, first of all, the fact that if anyone's not been on the golf planet for quite some time, these are both what they call hollow head constructions and they're film filled rather with a foam of sorts so the way these things are put together i would say very very similar uh, in this club and that club being a p790 there's a suggestion that there's a forged face i think i wouldn't class this as a forged club but this is well and truly a cast club and that's a 0211 so a lot of similarities but we're going to look at the little kind of nuances the slight differences the bits that might make you sway one way or the other when you're considering if you are considering buying either of these two sets of irons so like i said get straight into looks now then shelf appeal for me i always i'm a, I'm a big fan of uh the look of pxg kit in general and one of the things uh, uh, in terms of why i got these clubs was yeah i love the look of them but I'm also a massive fan of the P790, and I like what they've done in terms of the revised version in terms of 2019. I like a bit of high gloss chrome. So for me, a little bit shiny finish on the P790 probably has me swayed in their direction, but there's not a great deal to separate them in looks, and like I said, it's a very, very personal thing. Well, I think where the differences start is when you start to put club behind the ball and look at them at a dress. And let me, again, be perfectly honest with you, I'd not looked at these clubs until we came in here about half an hour ago and myself and somebody else who works here were quite surprised actually at the difference when I pointed out just how much different they are at address and it's quite big. Look at the images I've got in front of you now. Don't forget we've got seven iron. The biggest difference is overall profile. It's a longer profile heel to toe on the PXG but the top line on the P790 looks that much thicker. So it's kind of like a shorter, stubbier club in the P790, but in certainly heel to toe, it's a lot longer in the 0211s. But there's also another major difference for me, and it's offset. One of the things that the, the 2019 version of the TaylorMade Club, what, what, one thing they did and claimed was that they reduced offset. And I think it's very visible here that there is a lot more offset at address on the 0211s and again not something that i'd noticed before but when i put these two clubs together and it's the same for obviously the nine iron and again notice it into the five iron they're the three clubs i've got on both sets and there's quite a big difference so i think for me it's a tough one this because i think i, I prefer the slightly less offset of the p790 but i prefer the thinner top line of the 0211 so I'm gonna leave that one up to you. I'm sort of, do you know what the perfect scenario would be? For me, something in between the two. So less offset on the 211 and um, a shorter heel to toe on the 211. And obviously that's the reverse of what I would say about the P790. That top line does look particularly thick. It does look a little bit stubby. Um, so yeah. A tough one. Not a lot to split these in terms of look. So let's get in some golf balls. On camera, I'm going to hit P7. I'm going to hit the seven iron in both clubs. When we do off camera, I'll gather data on nine iron, seven iron, five iron, and then I'll give you my verdict. Right. Where should we go? I know what they do, and I've just been hitting them off camera as a bit of a warm up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit some of P790s to start with and then I'm gonna switch straight into the 211 and see if there's an immediate uh, difference that I can pick up on. I've gotta say, I mean, they sit very nice at a dress and in terms of performance,
There's nothing wrong with that. That's bullet straight and straight out the middle. Um, in terms of performance on the initial review, I tested these and I've tested both clubs, obviously, uh, in terms of dry ball data and out on the course. So there's a detailed review on both these clubs on the channel. Um, the one thing I would say, which is um, the slight negative about the P790s, is where their feel is massively improved. I have it two really solid balls there is it's this idea that it's a forged iron uh, it's a forged face but in terms of noise it's still um a long way short of being what i would consider to be a forged club but i would say acoustics in here are slightly louder than what i found out on the course but in terms of performance i think it's a fantastic club i really do um i've literally i've hit quite a few balls with the p790 and I know the feedback they get in here at Four Golf. It's a big, big selling club. And in terms of performance, I ain't gonna hit no more balls in terms of giving you a reaction because it'll carry on being much of the same. It's very, very nice. But let me just switch back over and hit the, I'm gonna have a look at the sole as well, these uh, width of sole, which is something. The, the idea of the profile and the sort of length heel to toe, like I said, it's not something I'd picked up on previously. And for some people, I think it could be a negative, and for others, a positive. That's very much down to kind of what you like at address, and also where you get your confidence from. This looks like, like I said, overall, a bigger club with a thinner top line. They've sort of both got, like I said, very much different things going on. That wasn't as, as good a strike as what I've hit on the first two shots of the Taylor May Club, so we'll, we'll give this one another go. But even from that, there's one thing that is noticeably different and sticks out uh, and has stuck out. Let's see if we can get a better shot before I comment on it. Again, slightly down the left. Isn't it marvellous? Not as good as shots with my own clubs uh, with the camera switched on. The irony. Let's try one more. There you go. That's a shot. And I don't know whether you can notice from, even from the three shots that I've played, even though the t two of them were nowhere near as good. And I'm going to hit one more while this camera's on. There's a noticeable difference in sound, a huge difference in sound. And I think that I've said this, I've remained consistent with my opinion of what PXG did with this 211 iron. It's by far the best feeling sounding cast club that I have personally tried. And I think yet again, when you put it up against uh, in this head to head and switch directly from one iron to another, it's very noticeable again. And for me, it's a massive deal. I said it in the original review of these things. I don't know how PXG have done this. I don't know how they've achieved the soft feel. Again, much better. And again, just go, I mentioned feedback of how, what a good selling club the P790 here is at Four Golf. And don't forget, for, just to remind, I don't work here by the way, so I don't sell these clubs, it makes no odds to me. But just general overall customer feedback and what uh, the, the lads here try again, the massive big plus everybody comments on is about the feel of this 211. So again, I don't know how much you can pick up on the sound, um, but it's a big difference. And for some golfers, that would make absolutely no difference whatsoever. For me, it's quite a big deal. Who's winning at the moment? I don't know. It is really, really not a lot to split them. But I'm going to go and start hitting some golf balls. I'm going to collect some data. And we'll see what happens. in terms Because they're very, very similar in terms of loft as well. And let's see where the differences lie, if any, in terms of performance. Right, could have done with a neutral corner really, couldn't I? Uh, Callaway in the background, but Taylor made her making a, uh, a sneaky peek there. Anyway, um, try and get through these numbers. I've tried to simplify this as simple as possible in terms of, um, in terms of my assessment. Overall assessment in the numbers, there's not a huge deal to split, but let me throw these numbers up, which I think are key. Uh, so 9-iron versus 9-iron. Uh, Taylor made 1-1-2 one, one, ball speed, 7-6 spin, um, 150 overall carry. Uh, 9 iron on the PXG. Um, 109 uh, in terms of ball speed, 6 7. We had one th in there at 5 8, which really dropped that out. Uh, 149 carry, so a yard difference in carry, a little bit difference in spin. 7 iron, 
uh, tailor-made 119 ball speed 54 spin 170 carry uh, pxt 79 122 ball speed 6350 spin 170 carry bit better spin this time on the seven iron and this is all down to variables in strike of an average golfer i don't think there's anything splitting these right now five iron 130 ball speed on tm five two spin which is incredibly high for some reason uh 188 carry uh five iron pxd 127 ball speed four seven seven eight spin 186 carry i mean there's literally nothing to split those two. Uh, it's worth noting that actually my own set of PXG irons are half inch longer in terms of shaft length. So probably you would say in terms of distance performance off the club face, there might be, um, arguably you would have expected it to be a little bit longer. Uh, it's probably very, very similar, if anything, a yard shorter per club, but there is nothing to split these whatsoever. Um, the only variables that are in there, I personally think, are down to the consistency of strike from me. And I think if we redid that test again, they hit the same amount of balls, which I ain't going to do because it's quite tiring. But if I was to do that, I think there's every chance that if we did it again, the numbers would sway the other way and exactly the same things would change. I honestly don't think there's very little to split them. Um, Slightly lazy of me, but I will throw them up in front of you now. I don't know the lofts. What I do know the loft on the seven eyes is identical. I don't know the lofts on the other irons. And like I said, that's a bit lazy and poor preparation from me. But I think the idea is simple, really. A head-to-head -head is always going to be, it's a slightly, um, you can be slightly sceptical about a head-to-head. -head. I always am. It's largely down to the performance a lot of the time between one club and the other. But in this instance, I hit everything where I would expect to do some left some right the other one down the middle and then the point is these are two of the best irons I think for average golfers that are out in the marketplace right now uh, I said at the beginning chuck the uh, Mizuno HMB MP20s in there and I think you've got three sets of irons which for me uh, have been real star performance and like I said at my level at average got at a number of levels to be quite honest with you, a number of different handicaps number of different swing speeds fitted correctly I think that you can't go wrong with any of these clubs. The, the thing again, and let's not uh, shy away from the price situation, we all know that uh, the TM product and the uh, Mizuno product has took a bit of a hike in price, so they're much more in line with each other now. But don't forget, the PXD is still the premium product in terms of price per club, so there's a big difference there. For a lot of people, you would want to pay that extra money for what I'm going to say is the only difference for me. I think in terms of Offset, I would prefer less on the PXG. I prefer less top line that I see on the TM. So a mix of those two would be ideal. I like a bit of shiny chrome, so I'd prefer that on the TM than the satin finish of the PXGs. Um, but you, you know, you're splitting airs. The one big difference is feel. And feel in terms of what I like, not what you like, what I like. And that's the big thing for me. There's unbelievable feed, uh, feel and responsiveness into their hands. And for me, that's the major tick in the box why I would prefer the PXGs. Uh, and it's a big deal. For a lot of people, it would make no difference. And like I said, would you want to pay that extra uh, premium price for that extra sound and feel? Maybe not, if it's not your thing. Like I said, it's a tough one to split and one I can't win because they're my irons versus effectively another set of irons. But all I would say, I'm perfectly happy with where I'm sat. I'm happy to, uh, that I've got the irons that I like for my game. But having said that, if you said to me, game the uh, tailor-made P790s, I'd gladly all day long. So it's a complete sit on the fence job and you've, com you've, you've just voided yourself of, uh, of putting yourself out there. But it's hard to split them. Anyway. It's late on Saturday evening and I think it's time I packed in. I'm going on a big trip tomorrow morning. I'll see you all very soon and there's plenty more to come. Thank you for watching. Comments down below and uh, like I said, enjoy your weekend. You'll see this on Tuesday so it'll be next weekend. See you later.